Hi, welcome to Nina in the Kitchen, where today I want to show you how you can make butter at home. Why would you bother doing that when you can go to the store and get it? Well, sometimes you want something like maybe a honey butter um, for your waffles, pancakes, make it a really special breakfast, you, or a quick bread, just to spread that on it. It's delicious. And it's very, very easy to make and very hands-off. You can make it in a food processor. I'm going to make it in a, a mixer for you today because I think um, it's easier for you to see in here than if you just see a white bowl of a food processor from all the cream splashing around. So here's all that you need to make your butter. Two cups of heavy cream. This is cold. I'm making a lightly salted butter today, so I just have some kosher salt that will go in in a little while. And you just get your mixer going, turn it on high, and here we go. I'm going to start this at a medium speed, and as soon as it starts coming together, I'm going to turn it on high. I'm just scraping the bowl down. It's beginning to turn just a little yellow. I don't know if you, you can appreciate that or not. I'm going to add about a quarter teaspoon of salt in here. That's two good pinches and let it keep running. At this point, this has been going for about four minutes. At this point, you can see that this is starting to turn yellow and it's, it's like a very wet whipped cream. It's not, it's not fluffy anymore. It's turning more creamy than fluffy. I'm going to change from my whisk from this beater to the paddle attachment. The paddle attachment is on now. Just run it on high until you have butter. This has been a total of about eight minutes at this point. I put the shield on because you can see we had some splash down. It gets kind of sloppy, kind of like sleet. <laughs> I keep comparing it to snow. Um, at this point, this is very wet and heavy. It goes faster in a food processor, but I, I wanted to show you this way. This little puddle at the bottom there is what you call buttermilk. This is butter. It turns very yellow, which I think is amazing. Why is butter yellow and cream isn't? I don't know. Um, depending on the, the amount of fat that you have in the cream when you start will depend on how much buttermilk you have. What I have is this butter is now in a cheesecloth and it's draining through a sieve and going into the bowl. So what is in here is called buttermilk. However, this is not the tart buttermilk that you buy in a store. That buttermilk has cultures added to it to give it a tartness to make it more like yogurt tasting. This is, a, this is going to taste just like a milk with a little extra cream to it. And then this, you can, you can squeeze this out. You can also do this without a cloth, just use your hands. And by the way, cheesecloth, um, in case you're wondering, I wash it and use it over and over again. And this is your butter. Isn't that beautiful? Fresh butter, custom made, custom flavored. You can do whatever you want with it. And this buttermilk, you can use this for many baking applications, anywhere that you would use milk, breads, scones, muffins, anything, anywhere you would use milk, you can use this. It's really delicious. Do not throw that away. And that's it. How easy butter. Who knew you could do it? And when you bring this to people's houses or you tell them I made butter with the bread or whatever, it's like you created a little magic act. So have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching and catch you next time. Bye guys.